as an industrial designer, I'm not only focusing on automobiles, I'm also focusing on other things. So for my class at Penn College of Technology, I had to design a magazine rack. Obviously, everyone was creating a magazine rack the old-fashioned way. Everything looked the same. Everything looked like something that's already been created. Well, not me. I got to create something that's brand new, something that looks expensive, <laughs> something that really takes your breath away, that looks similar to a car in a way. So I started drawing, I came up with these wall concepts that was on the wall, and I'm going to do something uh, different. I did something where it looked like a pyramid, and there was like uh, glass, and there was like LEDs around it and stuff like that, but it wasn't enough. So I actually uh, created a, a cantilever kind of thing. Like I got the idea, I guess, from Frank Lloyd Wright. I went to Falling Wire for high school, senior year, and I really enjoyed that trip, being able to see all the awesome things that Frank Lloyd Wright did in that house, and it really gave me some great inspiration for the rest of my life, I guess. Uh, so I did a cantilever where this uh, form, as you can see in this picture, it goes up and over, and from that, it was just, the rest of the design kind of just took shape just from that single form, just it's so simple. It was just an ellipse that was uh, scaled down from a bigger ellipse. It was the same size, same dimensions. I did a stegosaurus. Uh, they have the spikes on the back and everything. So I got the idea from that, I guess, because I was really into dinosaurs when I was in second or first grade. <laughs> I did a whole book on dinosaurs. It was pretty cool. If you're really into dinosaurs, it was the book to have. <laughs> it was a raid uh, with a angle increase of uh, three. So every three it got three degrees more tilted or something. It's probably not exactly three, it's probably more than that. But that's what I did for that. And I created it so it was uh, bigger at the bottom, definitely where the base was, and it was slanted upwards, so you could easily reach down and grab the magazine. And then near the top, it was slanted forward, so you could easily, if it was something weird, just grab the magazine like that, so. And I also created a little space underneath it to, uh, so it doesn't look so, uh, the negative space wasn't just so, uh, lonely I guess so I added a uh, little shelving underneath and it, it kept uh, with the top blueprint of the top structure so it kept with that within those dimensions actually flared out a little bit just beyond it if you look at from the top orthographic view and uh, the base is uh, the oval so I kind of kept with the oval theme and the harsh edges of the magazine holders that are clear plastic um, maybe something that's easy to bend, to hold it together pretty well so that the magazines can stay in it. My teacher brought up an interesting point that if uh, something like that someone would want to climb on, so I actually, uh, this isn't really, you can't really tell from the design, but there's actually springs in the bottom that holds the structure that goes over, that's cantilevered, and that, that would give if uh, more than 40 pounds were applied to it. And that was interesting, so it wouldn't break or anything and you still have it, uh, it would definitely hurt to climb on <laughs> with those uh, magazine holder stuff. And it had, uh, I think, 15 on the top, and uh, you can hold as many magazines as you want underneath, but I think it was a cluttered, so you might want to put something, uh, maybe just a few, just laid out, just one on top of the other like this. And that's the magazine rack I designed that revolutionizes how magazine racks look today.